Bang right. bang! What's up? It's Ikid Mel. Thank you guys for joining me. Today I'm doing a follow-up video on the previous video that I did on Streamlabs high CPU usage and streaming lag and all this kind of stuff. It's a great video. Thank you everybody for the feedback. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you go back or hit the link up above. You go check out that video and you apply those settings. And now today I found another hidden gem within uh, Streamlabs. It's a nice feature. I tested it out. So I'm going to do a uh, before and after so you can see the difference. Now right now before I stream, the CPU usage is on 10 15 no more than 20 percent okay lately i've been having problems having this animated background within my stream when i put this animated background and i go live it causes a bunch of cpu usage a lot of spikes up and down so let me give you a demonstration and this is without the new settings so we hit go live and pay attention to the cpu okay it's at 38 jumps up to 65 61 okay it's going to stay up high it gets it go to 40 49 up to 50 sometimes it goes as high as 70 i've seen it go and it doesn't go under 40 per se it stays kind of high and it generally kind of spikes it's kind of unsteady okay and just imagine if you're live with more animations i have a couple of youtube buddies that have all these nice fancy settings on live streaming and not everybody has the connection or maybe the cpu so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to end the stream. As you can see, it doesn't go under 40%, and there's an occasional spike, 50%. When I was doing this, I tested it out a couple times. Sometimes it spiked up to 60, 70. So let me show you what to do that's going to help you lower your usage, all right? So we're going to end the stream. Now, what you want to do for this to apply this setting is you want to go to your settings. You want to go to output. And on the previous video I did, somebody was asking about can they apply these settings to recording? Yeah, you can. You sure sure you can. All you have to do is scroll further down under streaming. There's another section called record, recording. I just passed it. Recording. And you can do all the same settings as live stream. You can apply it over here. But right now we're focused on live streaming, okay? So what you want to do is over here where it says tune, you want to hit on tune. And I've tried out some of these other settings. The best one was called zero latency, okay? So you hit zero latency. Make sure it's applied. You hit done. Once you do that, let's test it out. Let's see what happens. Go live. Now, we expect the spike. It spikes up to 50%, and then it drops to 40. Okay, let's see. It doesn't go up to 60 anymore. It's even under 40%. Let me switch the screen here. We can keep monitoring. 40, 42, 35. Before, I wasn't even able to get to 30% CPU usage with this animated background. And before, it was spiking up to 16, 70%. Now it hovers around 30, 35 to 40, maybe 50 at the most with this animated background. So this setting really helps out, especially if you applied the previous settings. Make sure you check out the video. It's going to be up above and in the link in the description below. Um, I think this is truly going to help out. And I think, uh, you know, I'm always thinking about some of my YouTuber friends and me when we're streaming and we don't have all the best settings and all that stuff. Right now, this is going to be the best thing for you. Uh, make sure you leave a comment down below if this video was helpful. Thank you guys for all the support. Have a great day and happy Father's Day. Peace. I see potential subscribers. Yeah.